All right, let's get to our first topic. Uh, why don't we talk about the big one, the the shot heard around the world? Uh, <laughs> this was a shit show completely. If you look at all that has come out, how this happened makes no sense. the The lapses in security are crazy. How much they missed it. Or perfect. Uh, yeah, uh, exactly. It really lends itself to that. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, or at least I don't consider myself one. Uh, but how could you not see that as a possibility when you see how many levels they had to miss? A ladder literally leaning up against the building for hours ahead of time. Uh, supposedly, there were uh, actual Secret Service people in the building that he was laying on top of. Uh I don't know if there was Secret Service, but there I were think it was police local officers. police at least. Police. Mm -hmm. Was it local police? And yeah. yep. people saw him up there, reported it. Nothing was done. Uh, just For 35 minutes. Yeah, yeah. He was up there 35 minutes, and yet somehow those snipers behind Trump couldn't spot him that entire time. Uh, it just makes no sense. The fact that they didn't get him right off the, the uh, stage, it just... It's crazy. So you guys, and, and they totally, you, they totally replaced his his regular security detail too with like a yeah. temporary thing because Jill Biden was campaigning or something nearby for Biden or whatever. But it was his not his regular team. They weren't drilled or trained in something you know some type type of mass event or crazy event like this. There's there's conflicting reports left and right, and it's really hard to parse through and figure out what's real and what's not. So it's kind of like all right, lots of theories though, lots of questions. It's weird. Yeah, I, like I saw someone trying to say the dude walked there for a, a mile with a ladder they, and a backpack. But they also said his car was located nearby with possible yeah. explosives in it. So it's like, yeah, supposedly he actually had it wasn't only booby trap to go off if they tried to get in. He actually had it like where he could set it off. So this guy was planning the whole thing out pretty deep. Uh, and magically, you know, you believe that? they can find no evidence on his phone, his home computer. Yeah anything no social no, media at all. Old fucking yeah. patsy. no social That's media what it is. pies yeah black rock though but magically yeah. he doesn't exist and the night reporters try to go to the house immediately after this shit happened that night mysteriously an armed man with the with armor on is blocking the road and denying access down the road to where his home was that guy looked like barney fife he didn't look like a military guy. He was wearing like cargo shorts. And... <laughs> he he did, like he did, did, did he have his one bullet? You? <laughs> I he didn't even see he had a firearm, way. did he? Like, do you, looking at that road and from the angle, at least maybe this is from the angle they shot it at, that whole road was, was blacked out. There were no lights down there. So to think that that one guy was alone, I would, I highly, I would be. It, it stinks of a cleanup operation. It Crowder's stinks of a cleanup, yeah. as opposed to going down that way. Yeah, it was. It's obviously a cleanup. Was, well, the thing know. that got me about yeah. that, that whole video was like Stephen turns up and he's got the video on there, and he turns around and he says, "What's going on?" And he's like, "You've got to get out of here." And he's like, "Well, well are you the police? Are you like Secret Service?" He's like, "No, I'm not Secret Service. You just got to get out of here. You know, you, you yep. know, stop recording me." He's like, "Well, aggressive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna record you." And it's like in my head, I'm thinking to myself, "Right, if you're not police and you're not Secret Service, why can't I just fucking drive around you? Yep. Who, yeah. who are you oh, to God. stop me from, you yeah. know, going down the road? Why didn't Stephen push that a little bit further?" I think that they understood that it was a very bad idea for them to go down that road, and it was possibility of yeah. seeing that video. Yeah, because yeah. that guy was the guy that is supposed to be seen. You don't, you're not supposed to see the people out there in the blacked out street yeah. that are going to remove you from existence if you go past that guy. Yeah, yeah, that was there to ward off innocent bystanders and people that weren't those people. That's why when he realized he was being recorded, he started getting very aggressive about it. And wanted them the fuck out of there. He didn't have any traffic coming. He was just, he knew he was on camera and had an oh shit moment himself. They should I have just, just fucking set up shop, 
directly across from him out in that lit that lit intersection and fucking stayed there. Yeah. And and shot live from that location. That would have been the smartest thing for them to do. Let's see. All right. I'm going to bring up uh, the picture of the. Let's see. This is the building the guy was on. If I can share it. Why is it, why is it not sharing? Hold on. Share these nuts. It's yeah. too sloped. Getting there you go. That's why you can't All right. share it. Yeah, it's, it's too sloped. <laughs> All right. So there's the ladder. Literally, it's just chilling there. How could their job is to search every inch of that if, of these buildings they couldn't see that ladder and say what the hell's that about who put that there where's this photo from though <laughs> is it like who shared this it? uh i had to pull it from i i didn't want to share it from twitter because it's from nick fuentes and i ain't fucking showing that guy's fucking twitter account because he's like, a cocksucker who took the photo from so. that angle like that's in the, the air is that a drone i don't, drone I don't know it? if it's a drone i'm not sure that i just know that's, that's the ladder and i kind of suspect this is a uh a news helicopter once everything had like died down that, they could yeah. get into the airspace once Probably. everything was not locked down anymore Either that, that or a drone. Ladder or is it the secret service? That's the ladder. Supposedly, that's the ladder that was left up against the building that he used. Yeah, but if and they were in that building, like who's to say? Like how did the how did the police get up there? Did they not use a ladder? Oh, what? They might have used the same damn ladder since we were just sitting there. I don't know. <laughs> well, I didn't ask them. There was even a report that a police officer did climb up the ladder, had the shooter point the firearm at him, and that officer ran back down and scurried off. When you're actually sniping someone, you have to be in a set position. You use that rangefinder. You calculate the wind. There is so much that goes into any of that. To, for him to take his rifle out of position to point it at someone that is not in his line of sight to the place that he is wanting to shoot, mm. like it's it's bullshit. Like that entire story is bullshit. And when I heard well, the story, it was they used a freaking AC unit or they used another officer. That's why I'm questioning this. Like, where did this well, come from? We don't from? even know explicitly who the real shooter was. I mean, I we did know. have that other guy put out there very early as well, the, the, the MY like, guy that looks far more I, I have, I have some similar to the corpse. Ha, what were you saying? Have you, guys consider, have you guys considered the, the, the problem here? The roof was sloped. <laughs> oh no! Oh, tell me that. Yeah, that, that that's what the secret service lady said. Is the, why the they roof didn't that the secure the, the the roof was because the, it was sloped. The roof that the the secret service and they didn't want people to get sloped. hurt. It was yeah. way more sloped than that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was sloped, guys. Yeah, like <laughs> roofers bullshit. are all like, yeah, that's that's a great excuse, dude. <laughs> the roof was slightly sloped. Uh, we couldn't get up there and uh, protect the president. So apparently the Secret Service are turning around and saying that this was out of their perimeter and it was supposed to oh, be taken bullshit. care of by the police bullshit. and not them. Bullshit. Dude, any one of us in this room with maybe a month's worth of training could make that shot with an AR with a scope on it. That is not far. That gun is more than capable of crossing that distance very easily. I don't even think you need uh, a month's worth of, tra of, of, of training so, and a scope. You just the, need to know your AR and the ammo that goes in it and where that ammo shoots. And once you get that sighted in, you could spend like a week doing that. Yeah. And then you could hit that that shot. That's with the iron sights. It, it was, this was, was like 152 yards. You want to know what my training was in the Marines in boot camp for basic qualifications? You start at 200 fucking yards yep. with the rifle and you end at 500 yards laying prone. That shit, 152 yards, fuck anyone and everyone who scouted the perimeter and allowed mm -hmm. that shit, that fucking roof to even be open and yeah. uncovered. I, there I should have been missed. multiple yep. people out there. It, exactly. I was, I, was making, I, said. I was making human silhouette shots on, on a human silhouette at target mm -hmm. at 400, 500 yards. Yes. And, and with an ACOG at 700 yards. So I don't, don't want to hear this shit. Give me iron yeah, sights we'll today. It's a very bad excuse for something that is very obviously a perfect setup. I mean, it was perfect. It's a perfect spot. It's a perfect range. And it's imperfect excuses 
or why the whole way through. Like, like they're not going to be able to excuse this one away. And there's this, this picture is a really good point that I'll highlight later once we go through this that of why this isn't going to work. Here's the thing. Everything that has a, a spot on the president is the Secret Service's job. The what the freaking police do is they are there to keep, you know, they they control the roads and shit in and stuff mm -hmm. like they're crowd control. That's all they are. To sit there and say that there is literally a perfect position where someone could snipe at a president and somehow they're all like, no, you guys can you guys can run that uh, you know, local P there. That is the most stupid argument. The fact that the person running the freaking Secret Service hasn't stepped down, hasn't resigned. Oh, she refuses. Is is ridiculous. Oh, she. Oh, you you expect it. her to go back to working for Pepsi? Oh my God! Oh, she be charged. <laughs> she's also and said in, that she's not. Good. She will be. She's also said that she. This doesn't warrant her increasing his security detail. Yep. It sure was. You know, okay. sure women off of it, didn't it? <laughs> there wasn't a single <laughs> fucking woman at the RNC for his protection detail. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guarantee he made, not, well, he made a point of that. I hope that he's hired his own people and realizes that those people aren't going to keep him safe from the next go round of this. I'm surprised he hasn't already hired his own security detail. He could get much better, oh, yeah. he, he, well, he, much better trained people, people on his own. Yeah. He needs to hire some kind of private executive protection agency or something. No, just hired some good old boy rednecks from Texas. They'll do a better job. Have you seen uh, that, that <laughs> video? It was like a TikTok video where a guy's like, just go to the hood. They got you. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Wouldn't that be <laughs> such a badass <laughs> security <laughs> detail? It's a bunch of like Southern rednecks and hood rats yes. together. Do it. Yep. At, at this point, he might as well like build a droid foundry and have... B1 battle droids act as his fucking protection at this point. Even they would have been better than the security detail he had. One of them looked like fucking Melissa McCarthy uh, dressed like, up. It seemed like a parody of real life. I mean, <laughs> what? What the hell the is I the bystanders were better security detail by pointing the motherfucker out on the on the yes. on the yep. roof. They were going, yeah. "He's right there. There's someone on the roof right there." And no one was doing right anything there, about guys. it. Can't you see him? Yeah. He's right in yeah, front of your ass. For, for three <laughs> minutes. You guys got it. I, you you I, know it's it's pointed at a certain thing. Maybe we should stop him. I, I like the <laughs> idea of the security detail with the the rednecks and the uh and the, the hood rats. You see like a bunch of beat up pickup trucks and a bunch of old mobiles and Cadillacs with big rims. <laughs> yeah. It's a bunch of hunting rifles and Glocks with switches. That's all you need. <laughs> well, if, I, I'm just wondering who was the head of security for that whole situation? Stevie Wonder? I mean, come <laughs> on, man. Oh, my God. Oh, I mean, like, the women Secret just look like they had so. no idea what they were doing. Mm. Well, yeah, I just, I, okay, you think that the Secret Service, you're thinking, like, these guys have to be really fit because, you know, uh, what their job. Every single women, oh my god. Yeah, I was <laughs> all like, why is, what, what's Melissa McCarthy doing with a gun <laughs> <laughs> trying to protect the freaking president? Okay, well, like, they're yeah, let's just the say edge this. of passing BMI. That's what let's, that let's, is. Let's, let's give them some credit. They might not be tall enough to actually protect somebody of even average stature. But there's a lot more distance that bullet has to go through them before it gets to the target. Mm. Yeah, so that's why that one just ducked down and was hiding behind the other ones that were dogpiling on. <laughs> yeah. Look, look, I, I will I, legit, legitimately, I will give credit to the uh, one woman who did legitimately dive onto yes, Trump. onto the pile. Yeah, but I mean, still, she didn't have the stature to cover somebody head to toe of his height, so. Shouldn't have been on that detail. She maybe on the sidelines, keeping an eye on things, maybe like a roof next door, but that, that shouldn't be somebody that is hands on. I'm going to protect you with my body. If the body can't cover your, 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 she your was person short you're of to... a gal. No, yeah. she didn't cover your vital bits. Yeah. Kind of important. I love it. Just that, looked like just... she was giving him a hug. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's all, goodbye, Mr. President. <laughs> Hug the president. <laughs> Uh, I love some of the memes that came out of it. Like you, they literally put uh, Rosie O'Donnell's head on her. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> oh the, the one that was like a Disney uh, cartoon adaptation. <laughs> oh yeah, the the there, Pixar there, there one. Were, yeah, there was also the one of the the one that was cowering down behind everybody else that they had put yellow rubber gloves and a, like a sink full of dishes in front of her. Yes. Like, yeah, I'm the, gonna do dishes back here. <laughs> yeah, the Melissa McCarthy lookalike literally stood behind Trump <laughs> as he was getting swarmed by the other uh, Secret Service uh, uh, people. I'd like to say SS, but that's that's a different acronym. So we'll have to say Secret Service. I'm yeah, you, you just spell it out. Don't give the people who are looking for any other reason to yell Yahtzee. Don't give them any. <laughs> don't 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 give them f fuel for that. You say USSS. Yeah, they they have been trying to paint this guy as a Republican, and I know that he's registered as that. The only problem is in Pennsylvania, uh, it's Tucker Carlson's pointed this out. They have it where they will register as the opposite party so they can vote in the yep. primary and try to get the you know person who's not going to win in as the choice. Uh, so that's, yep. doesn't necessarily mean nothing, but we do know the man gave money to Biden. So I don't money to act blue yeah. I can speak for a fact I, because I've registered that way to before to do that before I've done that. I, so it is not I'm hard. Sure it's it's, it's, state it's, 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 Pennsylvania is one of those states that allows you to easily switch parties. Yep. In Colorado, if you're unaffiliated, you get both ballots. You can only yeah. pick one to vote. In Arizona, you have to pick one. Yeah. But, yeah. Like you can't vote for both or they'll both be tossed. So yep. I, I, I'm just going to throw this out there. I don't have the details on it. And and let's be clear. We're still in the fog of war on this. Mm. And whatever information ends up coming out, we don't necessarily know if we can trust it anyway. But I think there has been some suggestion that the Act Blue donation might have been a another person with the same first and last name. I don't know if there's been any more clarification on that. Mm. I just want to throw that out there as a maybe. Mm. But even regardless... <laughs> If even if he was, you know, a conservative, quote unquote, there are plenty yeah. of people who are voting Republican this coming election that still hate Trump, like from their toes to their ears. So yep. that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I agree. Well, it's just uh, the left it's... trying to to remove the blame from themselves for this. Yeah. yeah I, I, we're I, not the, we're the problem. Oh, yeah. We didn't do it. I, I said this the day it happened. I said the first thing you're going to see is them try yep. to negate any responsibility for themselves. They're going to sit there and say this was caused by his rhetoric. They're going to totally ignore that for the past eight years this man has been in politics, that they have been calling him Hitler, that they have been Dude. saying that he is going to kill black people, he's going to uh, eliminate gays, he's going to freaking uh, you know, take away, uh, kill trans kids. All this rhetoric that they have been spouting about him, that they would totally ignore every bit of that. And they're going to say the reason this kid did it was because he said there's good people on both sides. Dude, devil, they've been doing this for, for longer than I think you can remember back when, when uh, Bush was in, in office, which I don't really like Bush. But they did the same tactics as him. They called him Hitler. Mm -hmm. You know, they or compared him to Hitler. Yep. It's, this is nothing new. They've been doing this yeah. for decades to Republicans. Yeah, Greg Gutfeld yeah, says mean, it best. Uh, we think they're wrong. They think we're evil. Yep, yep. 